During monsoon months, the selected fishes were maintained in hapa to strengthen and lower the stress effect of netting which was then transported to a nearby hatchery. The dosage of carp pituitary extracts is determined by the body weight of brooders. After 5 hours of second dose of injection, stripping was carried out. After stripping, the eggs were mixed with the milk and were immediately transferred to a cemented hatching pool for fertilization. Eggs were hatched out after 16 to 18 hours post-injection. The fertilization rate of eggs was about 98% whereas the hatching rate was achieved to almost 90%. Sepri is working on the breeding of the river and stocks from river Ganga and going for the ranching program into the river Ganga to increase the fish productions from the river Ganga. We are collecting the brooders from the river Ganga and taking the private ponds and hatchery on a lease basis. There we are breeding the fish using the pituitary hormones. After the fish breeds, that we are being released to the nursery ponds and when this spawn grows to a ingulling size, then what we are doing, we are releasing this stock into the rivers for the river ranching programs to increase the river and stocks in which Rohu, Katla, Mrigal and Kalbaso are bred and released into the rivers. After three days of hatching, fish spawns were transported and stocked to well-prepared nursery ponds. Repeated netting was performed in the ponds for monitoring the spawn health, growth and survivability. After seven days of stocking, spawn was shifted partially to other nursery ponds for lowering the stocking density. The spawns were nurtured by feeding milk powder and egg yolk mixture for consecutive two days of post-stocking. After certain period, commercially available powdered feed was broadcasted for achieving better growth. Nursery ponds were carefully monitored for quality growth till they attained fingerling size ready to be released in the river. Fingerlings of standard sizes were ready for river ranching. Increasing of riverine fish stock through river ranching preserves the natural genetic resources of the river without contaminating the genetic pool. Wild fish, germplasm and ranching is a new initiative by joint efforts of ICAR SIFRI and National Mission for Clean Ganga under the flagship project.